All right, it's about that time, guys. You guys know the drill. We're going to break down SoFi, the charts, what happened today, key levels on the charts, all that good stuff. And later in the video, if we have time, that is, we'll break down the indexes, which, mind you, all of them went up today, especially the Russell, which went up almost 2 0.5% and we'll also break down some other stocks again if we have time later in the video so hit that like button make sure to subscribe and you might as well get up to 15 stocks from Moomoo guys each up to $2,000 just use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo and with that being said let's dive into it so check it out it's currently about 415 so the markets just closed about 15 minutes ago and we had SoFi go up over 1.3 percent on the day as you guys can see and we close at let's see eight dollars and 53 cents and again all the indexes which we'll have time later in the video we had all of those up on the day as well so you guys can see SoFi in the pre-market was up to eight dollars and sixty cents you guys can see we hit that at about 8 30 a.m so about an hour before the markets open here on the east coast then we actually drifted off to about Let's see, 8.50 by open, then we got down to about 8.35, it looks like, at about 10 a.m. on the East Coast. So we did sell off a bit in the morning here, guys, um, as you all can see. Uh, but ultimately, we did bounce back and then, uh, you know, close on a nice upswing, which is good for the Bulls. And another thing that's really good for the Bulls is the fact that, well, there's two things, actually. We broke out of the highs from yesterday, clearly, which yesterday we closed at 843, which pretty much was the high of the day. Um, so we broke out of that this morning and we also closed above it. Notice that, uh, which is really good. So we actually pulled under it, you know, earlier in the day. And then we managed to rebound over the high from yesterday and close above it, which you guys can see here if I do draw the line out, which is really good overall. Uh, for the Bulls. You guys can see we kind of consolidated above that point for the second half of the day and then we closed well above it which is solid and here on the five day five minute chart you guys can see with today's move in the pre-market we got to a fresh high on this time frame which overall for the Bulls is a good sign um, and it looks like we took the highs out from was this on Monday? Uh, yeah it looks like Monday we hit 850 then we sold off Tuesday, rebounded yesterday, Wednesday, and today, Thursday. We took the high out, which is fantastic. So that's good. Heading into Friday, which is tomorrow. And mind you, on Monday, um, we have a holiday. I forget what exactly. Oh, my God, I'm so bad uh, with these holidays, guys. But I believe the markets, yeah, the markets are closed on Monday. Um, so tomorrow is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting ahead of the market closure on the 19th of February uh, for SoFi and for the entire stock market uh, for that matter. But yes, yeah, SoFi is breaking out, if you will, on the five day, five minute chart. And on this 10 day, let me pull the 10 day up uh, quickly. Looks like uh, where the heck is it? There we go, guys. Looks like now we're trading at a high on this 10-day 30-minute chart. We're above the moving averages, golden cross, all that good stuff. And on this 20-day chart, uh, we're above the moving averages, golden cross, right? Now we're actually uh, seeing how we arguably have an inverse head and shoulders in the making here. We're taking out the highs from a couple of days ago, like we said. And really from a couple of weeks ago now as we took out 830. So the next main resistance in the short term here on SoFi, guys, like we've been talking about, is around 9 followed by $9.40 to about $0.45, cents, which is where the stock was, as you all can see, here in the end of January. So let me show you this four-hour chart, which at this point, you guys know this. We've covered this pretty much every day. Um, and we're going to continue to, you know, cover it. So make sure to subscribe until we get some sort of direction, uh, because at this point, we're still clearly in this wedge, higher lows, lower highs. And now we're testing the top of the wedge. As you guys can see, if I draw this out, boom, we're testing the top of the wedge. So that spot is very critical for the bulls to break. Um, ideally, the bulls, you know, would love to break above. Um, 870, which let me draw this out. This is actually a big spot for the bulls here. Um, I'd say around 870. Yeah, let me draw that out. That was actually the high from it looks like the middle of October, also beginning of November, beginning of December. Also looks like 
uh, beginning of January. So 870 is a big resistance for SoFi, uh, which needs to break. At the end of the day, that needs to break, and that could put us above the wedge, especially if we start pushing 9 950. So let me set a couple alerts here. I already have one at $9. Let me do one at 870 as well. Mark is that we're above 870 and I'll do another one might as well at uh where should I put the other one? Maybe 950 for now. Mark is that we're above $9.50. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And before we break down the indexes and some other stocks, don't forget to get your free stocks from Momo. Just simply use that link down below. Open up your account. Fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks. And listen to this. If you fund your account with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And each of those could be valued up to 2 thousand dollars guys so use that mumu link down below guys and there's also a bunch of other perks by using that link on top of those 15 stocks so get on it and of course that is an affiliate link i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said let's break down these indexes very quickly which again man we had a green day all across the board today we had spy go up around 0.7 percent and now it's about a buck 50 shy from all time highs. We hit 30 or not 30, 503, excuse me. Got the numbers wrong there, guys. 50 a couple of days ago, which was an all time high. Then we pulled down to about 490, so about a 13, 14 dollar drawdown, 2.5%. That was just two days ago. And uh, now we're completely rebounding. And it looks like maybe even tomorrow we could be at all time highs again on SPY as clearly this uptrend is continuing, which did we not talk about that, guys? Did we not call that out a couple of videos ago? I'm not surprised. You're probably not surprised. And we're noticing that same thing on Triple Q. This thing hit 439, saw a nice pullback to, uh, let's see, to about, where'd it go down to? 425, that was about a 3.2% sell-off. And now we've rebounded. We're about five, six bucks away from all-time highs. And the Dow Jones, yeah, it's pretty much 200 points away uh, from all-time highs, which the all-time high on the Dow is 38.9. Now we're at, uh, where are we? 38.770. So we're like 100 points, 150 points away from all-time highs. So watch out for that. Maybe tomorrow, maybe some point next week. And the Russell completely and utterly exploded today and this is very good news for the bulls here let me explain so clearly you guys can see 2070 is where we were back in the end of last year then we saw a pretty good sell-off as i mean come on we saw a huge run-up heading into the end of last year uh so we saw a sell-off to begin the year which makes sense pretty healthy then we saw a pump fake rally is what i like to call it uh we can see here on the russell we then you know, again, sold off to about 1900. Then we rallied up to about, uh, you know, 2010. That was just about two weeks ago, which was a lower high. Mind you, notice that. But at the same time, we were making higher lows. We put in some higher lows. So what you're noticing here, guys, is a full on breakout on the Russell. And if I had to bet, I would not be surprised if this goes to 2100 plus on this next leg up. It sure looks like it wants to test 2070, which again was the high from a couple of weeks ago. And if that breaks, man, 2100 plus, it's coming. And yeah, it's looking really good. Today, 2.4% green day. We took the highs out from earlier this week. Or uh, was that last week? No, that was earlier this week. Clearly, we took the highs out from the end of January. Now we're going for that 2070, maybe even higher. So the Russell looks really good, guys. And for me, I'm looking at something like IJR very closely right now, which we've covered before. This is an iShares uh, core S&P 500 or S&P, excuse me, small cap ETF. So this is one that you could trade potentially. I'm not telling you guys what to do, of course, but it could be one that's on your watch list that's small cap oriented. There's a lot of other ones which we're not going to get into in this video. But yeah, small caps look poised for more upside at least in my opinion please do your own research you know based on the charts that i'm seeing here and yeah i mean we, we covered tesla earlier today which tesla ended up going up over 200 dollars on the day which is not 6.2 percent green day for tesla so that inverse head and shoulders we called out 
That's looking like it's playing out. End phase is ripping uh, up 3.6%. Looks like it's breaking out towards the highs here, which is good. And yeah, man, inverse head and shoulders looking like it's potentially playing out here on end phase. You guys can see the left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So keep your eyes on that. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments where you're watching this video from. I appreciate all of you for tuning in. And with that being said, I'll see you later.